days here. And, and this, again, is the same storm that was producing a tornado between Gallatin and Hendersonville as they continue to move through portions of Tennessee. This has been a, a very strong storm, and it still has enough rotation in it to where it could still be producing a tornado or has the possibility to be dropping another tornado here. So Tompkinsville to Burksville, that's where we have the tornado warning that is in effect right now. Elsewhere, the warning is, is still in effect for Hart County, but that should be coming to a close here soon. Uh, the, the cold front itself is moving through Nashville. And once we get, once we get this storm to Cumberland and Clinton County, that is when most of the area, most of our viewing area, will be out of the risks here once we get it really more so out of i should say cumberland and clinton county will be out of the risk for a good portion of the viewing area here but right now we do have that tornado warning that is in effect for southern monroe county over there towards Tompkinsville and also into cumberland county here and that does include burksville We're not seeing a a great signature showing up on on velocity here and again this is where we kind of get an idea of where the strongest rotation is it's a little, little, little difficult to see right now might be able to change the radar location just a little bit but this yeah there, there's still certainly a little bit of rotation just to the east of Gamale, Harlan Crossroads and Tompkinsville a possible tornado passing just to the south of Tompkinsville towards Harlan Crossroads. Meshack and Stalkup and Radern, you want to be in your safe zone right now. Away from windows, interior closet, pillows, blankets, good idea. If you're out in Burksville, we do have the tornado warning that is in effect. You have a little bit of extra time to seek that safe location. And for folks in, in vehicles, hopefully you're finding a good place to park, head into a sturdier structure, or you're just about to make your way back home. But we do have a new tornado warning that is in effect for Southern Monroe County and portion of west central cumberland county and yeah we can see actually right now starting to get a, maybe a little bit of a recycling of this storm as it passes by harlan crossroads just outside of tompkinsville we do have uh, a bit more of rotation being picked up by radar here and so this is again just outside the tompkinsville area be in your safe spot right now do not try to venture outside to see what's going on but it, it certainly looks like we've we've definitely got some some rotation still in the storm not the best radar spot we're at here but if if there's rotation aloft there can certainly be rotation closer to the surface so the storm continues to pass by harlan crossroads just outside of tompkinsville stay in your safe zone um Otia, you're you're in the path of the storm here, and also Meshack, you want to stay in that safe zone. You've got a little bit of time, but not too much. So I'm gonna put another track on this, and you can see Williams School, Otia. This is over the next less than five minutes now. Meshack, about eight minutes. Cloyd's Landing, Young School. Uh, we'll, we'll put a time stamp at about 15 minutes or so, probably a little bit less than that right now. And out there in, in, in the Burksville, I would say just a little bit past 6.30, that's likely when the storm will be kind of knocking on your door. But we still do have a tornado warning in effect for the viewing area. This is, again, Monroe County. Um, the storm has passed by Gamal. It is just to the south of Tompkinsville. It passed over Harlan Crossroads. This is just radar indicated. 
Houston. That's where the, the storm will pass just to the north. And we got the Williams School out there. Sulphur Bridge School. Meshack over the next 10 minutes or so. So if you're again just just coming on with us or if you've been following us for the last four hours or so, we're glad you can rely on us for your severe weather coverage here. Because we still do have a tornado warning in portions of the area. And you can put it on the massage and then just massage the serum in. Your skin feels plump and so happy. Sonic Skin Revitalize. Stronger rotation here. But you are definitely, you're not, you're not in the clear yet. Still have that tornado warning in effect. You want to stay in that safe zone. Here's how radar is looking. Jump out, look at some other locations. You can see we no longer have the warning in effect for Hart County. Just some scattered showers around Bowling Green. So the, the, the main threat right now is, is out here. We do have that tornado warning in effect for Monroe and Cumberland County. I would expect this warning probably get trimmed back a little bit over the next 10 minutes or so. We certainly have some wind. You'll notice that we are seeing a bit of, of, of a bow right here. That's always indication that you've got some very strong winds and likely the you know the rotation is kind of right in this area right here where you have this little bit of a indentation right here. It's probably in this area where you have some more rotation. But when you start to see storms bow and that becomes the predominant feature. That generally means that strong winds are, are, are the main threat. Strong winds and, of course, some hail as well. So this tornado warning does continue for the next 11 minutes here. Let's get a new track on the storm. So we're going to, we're going to erase, erase that track here and I'm going to go back to our velocity product which again kind of tells us where where the stronger winds are or at least where the rotation is where you see the green and the red it's still pretty broad and of course that's a very, that's that's a loft that's higher up in the atmosphere but it can always translate down to the surface so as I put a new track on this zoom out a little bit more So, Burksville, yeah, about the next 20 minutes or so. Otia, Meshack, uh, within five minutes or so. Waterview, give it about you know 10 to 15 minutes here. Okay, now the tornado warning has been a trim back now, just a little bit. As as I was saying before, that would likely happen, but we still have that area of rotation over here just to the it's likely more more southeast of of Tompkinsville as we speak you have the Burksville camera pulled up but it's approaching um if you want to pull that up definitely a lot of lightning okay yeah good point let's check out Burksville right now and it's, it's going to be hard to really see much with this camera but here's a look in, in Burksville right now this is kind of it's very hilly out there into a Burksville, and so this is kind of up on a ridge looking down. And obviously there's there's a lot of lights, but if you look out in the distance, we are getting some, some good flickers of lightning as the storm does get a little bit closer. So this is a live look right now in Burksville out there into Cumberland County where we do have a tornado warning that is in effect. Radar indicated tornado. No tornadoes have been confirmed on the ground. And again, between Tompkinsville and Burksville, that's where we do have the greatest severe weather threat right now. Everywhere else, the threat is greatly diminishing. Most of the area kind of in the clear right now as, as we're dealing with some of that colder wind blowing in. But here's a live look out there in Burksville.
right now where we do have a tornado warning that is in effect and it will continue for the next eight minutes and and when you see the lightning flicker I, I think that's a that's a pretty good shelf cloud starting to move overhead right now but we may also have uh, a possible tornado and of course it's at night and so you really have to heighten your guard at night when we deal with the tornado warnings. So remain in your safe zone into Burksville. And after we get off this Facebook Live, after the, the threat has diminished, once we get off of air, we will kind of reconvene as a weather team and, and look at a lot of the pictures and images that we've received. Right now it's Hopkinsville just outside of that warning but Raider and Burksville we do have the tornado warning that does continue for the next seven minutes or so still enough rotation to keep this warning going okay we'll go back to composite radar pause all right so let's put another track on this so this the storm continues to really bolt by, by Burksville. So, <coughs> give it about mm. you know, less than 10 minutes now in Burksville. Claywell, around 10 minutes or so. Sometimes I like to reduce these times by maybe just a couple of minutes. And out there in the Bryan, um, that's, that's starting to take us out of our, our true viewing area here. But the storms are still pushing through Monroe and Cumberland County right now. Probably some very strong winds being felt around the Burksville area. Ellington as well, Stall Cup, Radern. You're, you're getting a, a pretty strong push of wind right now, maybe in excess of 60, 70 miles per hour, but you can certainly see that, that Boeing feature that we're looking at right now, that bow right there indicating where we have some very powerful winds and right in this area kind of that little notch that's where we likely have at least enough rotation to where we could still have a tornado there although it's just been radar indicated still remain in your safe zone and as the storm continues to move further away from radar we have to change the radar location Just so that we can look at the storm from a different spot. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, when we're yeah, when we're at this location, it's a little this, this area. Unfortunately, a little bit of a of, of a radar gap here. So it's it's hard to find a really good radar. Actually, Nashville may be the best. You know, looking at where we're located here. So if I turn on. Nashville's radar, yeah, it was the same one. We're, we're, we're getting higher into the storm here, and I, I think right now probably the main threat is going to be maybe strong damaging winds. And so I, I would expect that threat to continue through southern parts of Cumberland County and eventually out there into Clinton County. But elsewhere, that's, that, that's really it right now. Um, of course, farther into southern Tennessee, we saw some warnings, so there's also warnings down there into Mississippi, but we're still keeping an eye on, on this storm as it does approach Burksville, Ellington, it, as it is really now crossing over into Monroe County, still got some gusty winds, or it's crossing on over into Cumberland County from Monroe County, saw some gusty winds around the Tompkinsville area. Just reading some of the comments here. So a lot of people are just they're just staying on because they're just fascinated with the weather, which that's that's another thing uh, I can really appreciate about folks around this this area. They're very weather savvy, weather weather aware too. So. So th thank you guys for you know following our, our, our coverage and of course if you're out there in Burksville or anywhere in southern Cumberland County please take shelter still have the tornado warning and a threat in, in effect I can tell you we definitely probably are dealing with winds 50 60 even 70 miles per hour some hail in there as well.
show you what our hail possibility is right now. Where you see that green, yeah, that's indicating some hail. We, we've had reports of pea size, maybe up to quarter size hail, but the hail hasn't been the greatest New story. New warning. Guys. Obviously, the bigger story. Is is the tornado and the wind threat? That's okay, a severe so thunderstorm warning. Now it looks like we've just got a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Maybe let's see. Allowing that warning, the tornado warning in southern Cumberland County to expire. So they have it moving east now at 50 miles an hour with wind gusts up to 70 miles an hour. So yeah, we we still are dealing with those really really strong winds and. Potentially some hail as the storm is really becoming wind dominated right now. So there's a chance that this warning could just be allowed to expire coming up here in two minutes. And, and when it does, we'll send you right back to regular scheduled programming. But we still have the warning in effect for Burksville. You can really see a good comma feature on this storm indicating that we do have some very very strong winds and also some hail over there towards the kettle area and, and burksville as well here's, a, here's another look at our camera that's really been lighting up the lightning has really been showing up very well as the storm continues to move into the area seems like my computer wants to Keep on giving me fits right now, but again, we are continuing to monitor a, a tornado warning that we have in effect for southern Cumberland County, and that may be expiring here in just a couple of moments. But we also have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for southern <coughs> Cumberland County, as well as Cleveland, <coughs> and that's because we could be facing winds 60 to 70 miles per hour as as they continue to move towards the east so we're not out of the woods just yet um, but we are certainly still dealing with some very very intense storms we do have a quick update too from the national weather service up in louisville um, so the severe thunderstorm warning that was just issued for the extension of that tornado warning uh, so they have downgraded it to a severe thunderstorm but they have added a tornado possible tag so with you know when you've got some of those really strong winds even with that boeing segment um, you can sometimes get little kinks within the line as it's pushing through and that's where you can maybe sometimes see those winds colliding and create a little bit of that uh, rotation so uh, do not let your guard down entirely if you were in that severe thunderstorm warning uh, you definitely still do not want to be outside if you are um, with winds of upwards of 60 70 miles an hour it's still definitely not a safe situation um, so just remain indoors um, and honestly the the sun has set for the day and it's going to be getting cold here soon so just stay inside tonight play it safe and um, we will continue to monitor as additional warnings are issued for tonight but i think we're kind of starting to dwindle down a little bit for the night which is a good sign we are yeah and with the tornado tag still on that storm we'll, we'll stay on air for our, our friends out there in the cumberland county cumberland and clinton county can we actually switch the max to really mm. quick here okay th thank you i got the computer keeps freezing up on me you and i are um, a lot of doing a lot of work here so we we are we are still going to stay on air um, because we do have the the potential for maybe an isolated tornado showing up. There, there are often times in which a tornado warning doesn't necessarily have to be put out, but there could be a severe thunderstorm that is racing. And a lot of times when these storms race, they can generate their own twisting motion. And so that's when you can get maybe a brief tornado. Normally those are fairly weak and really the bigger threat is going to be those are strong damaging winds. Right now, the the worst of the weather is moving through Littrell and Burksville as, as we speak. And it should start pushing into Clinton County here shortly and making it all the way towards Albany by about 6.46 or so. So, 
Yeah, the, the storm, and when I was mentioning those different kinks within the, the cell, um, so you have this Boeing segment uh, that's leading right out. It's right now near Luttrell, Burksville, down to Paytonsburg. Oh, yeah, but then you've got these little kinks that are just behind it here. Sometimes you can get a little bit of spin right there if, it, if it's just right.